Hi, for this recording, we are going to solve a problem regarding diagonalization of a metric. Given that a metric A is 210131012, we are given eigenvector 1 to 1 with corresponding eigenvalue 4 and eigenvector 1 0 minus 1 with corresponding eigenvalue 2. In the earlier part, we have found the remaining eigenvector and eigenvalue of A, which is eigenvalue equal to 1, eigenvector equal to 1 minus 1, 1. Now we are going to answer part B. Find a metric P and a diagonal metric D such that D equal to P inverse AP. According to David Lay's linear algebra and its application, Section 5.3, page 336, theorem 5. An n by n matrix A is diagonalizable if and only if A has n linearly independent eigenvectors. But we already know that since the eigenvalues of A are distinct, so the eigenvectors are linearly independent. In fact, a equal to P D P inverse or equivalently P inverse A P equal to D as given in the question. With D a diagonal metric if and only if the column of P are n linearly independent eigenvectors of A. We have already know the eigenvectors are 1 to 1 the eigenvalue equal to 4 and eigenvector 1, 0, minus 1, with eigenvalue equal to 2. And from part A, we also know that eigenvector is 1, minus 1, 1, eigenvalue equal to 1. So from this, we can form the metric P. The column of P are E1, E2, E3 eigenvectors. And so we get P equal to 1, 2, 1 for E1, 1, 0, minus 1 for E2, and 1, minus 1, 1 for E3. And the corresponding eigenvalue lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3 are 4, 2, and 1 in the corresponding column. So, all you need to check now is P inverse AP equal to D. That means that AP equal to P times D. I have already multiplied that A times P is 4, 2, 1, 8, 0, minus 1, 4, minus 2, 1 and P times D also give you the same metric. In fact, I'm going to show you how to use Casio FX9860 to find AP and PD. So let me launch my Casio calculator. We're now in the menu. I'm going to press Run. F1 for metric. Now metric A, I'm going to enter a 3 by 3 metric. So execute. I'm going to enter metric A, 2, 1, 0, 1, 3, 1, 0, 1, 2. Press exit. And now I'm going to enter metric D. So go to D now. Execute. So D is 3 row, 3 column. So I'm going to enter the entries of D, 4, 0, 0, 0, 2, 0, 0, 0, 1. After I entered D, I press exit and get out. Next, I'm going to move all the way down to find enter the metric P. So press exe. This metric P is a 3 by 3 metric again, so 3 row, 3 column, EXE, and then the metric P is 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 0, minus 1, and 1, minus 1, 1. After I finish, I press exit. So now I have 3 metric. A, P, and D. Let me press exit again to get out. I want to do some metric calculation now. 
So I'm going to press Option Metric Alpha A Times Metric Alpha P Press Execute So I have A times P as 4, 2, 1 8, 0, minus 1 4 minus 2, 1. Now I can also find metric P times D. Let me press exit. Then F1 for metric. Alpha P times metric P times metric D. So F1 for metric. Alpha D. Then execute again. I find the same metric again. 4, 2, 1. 8, 0, minus 1, 4, minus 2, 1. Therefore, I have shown that P inverse AP is equal to D. That's the end of the recording.